and we fight around four more fights and fight for the championship. Yes, sir. All right. If this so happens that it falls at December, you could fight this guy again. Would you be willing, Shelly, to oh, fight Norris? Of course. Uh, not me. Mike would fight him. No, but you're... you're... <laughs> All right. Sure. Let, 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 hey, we, you and I have been around a long time together. You feel your snake bit or something? Every time something happens. God, every time you come up here, something crazy happens. Well, listen. All praise be to Allah. I don't want to dwell on this anymore. I just want to say hi to my friend, the Smith family out there in, in, in Gilbert, Arizona. I like to say hi to Tiger Woods. We trained together with Keith Clevin, and he did it. And I wanted to score another knockout because you were successful. And I like to say hi to my friend Chuck Vito and get well soon. I love you, brother. Peace. All right. I think that uh, helps everybody else. Let's go back to Steve Albert at ringside. Well, uh, just got a, a, an official explanation uh, from uh, the other ringside position here. Uh, telling us that Norris twisted his knee when he fell, and there you see the uh, the results of it all. And I believe underneath that, Steve, there's a scar from some previous surgery and injury. So once again, controversy and Mike Tyson are connected as this fight ends after one round. We're going to take another listen to exactly how it sounded at the end of the first round. hit him after the bell. He definitely hit him after the bell. I don't know if he heard it. I don't know what registered. It was definitely after the bell. It wasn't long after the bell, but it was after the bell. We've got we've got to uh, find out if Mike Tyson heard that bell. Unbelievable. They stopped the fight after round one on an accidental foul. They call it a no contest. This thing goes three minutes and it's over. And there's a lot of befuddled people here. Ferdy's up there with Orlando Norris now. Ferdy? How do you feel ending this thing in this bizarre fashion? I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want it to end like this. Uh, I mean, I was doing what I had needed to do in the fight, you know. Uh, uh, you know, he hit me clearly after the bell run. You know, I, did you hear the bell and then the blow? Oh, I, I heard the bell and I was I was about ready to take a step back to advance toward him. You know, but I still was watching him. But you know, he, he threw an uppercut. Rich still stuck his arm in, and then come another uppercut that he caught me with. You know, I but he definitely caught you with one. Oh yeah, he hit me. He hit me pretty square with him. You know, I mean, knocked me down. What do you think happened to your knee? Why did it give away like that? Well, I mean, like I said, I was <clears throat> the bell had rang. I know that rang. I was in a a position where I was on, on my way back, where I was just going to spin and go back, you know. But he threw, he threw the uppercut, you know, boom, boom, you know, and I was just in, in the wrong position. We've just finished interviewing. He says he wants to have you back as soon as possible. Is December too early for you? Uh, well, I, you know, uh, I don't know. I have to see, you know, what's wrong with my knee, you know. But uh, you mean we're going to put you on injured reserve like the football team? <laughs> I don't want to be. I don't want to be like that because this is not football, you know. You think it can recover? Have you have you ever had any injury to that knee? Let's start there. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. This is a knee that's given you problems before. Well, you know, I've, I've, uh, I heard it once before, you know, but it's never given me problems. You've, have, you had a, have you ever got it uh, operated on? Yes. Yeah. You had an operation on the knee, and this is the one that went? <clears throat> yeah, well, it wasn't, it didn't, it didn't go because of, uh, because of anything. It, it went because the way when I went down, the way my leg was contorted, that's what happened to me. Otherwise, there was nothing wrong with my knee. You know, my knee was fine. It's been fine for, you know, probably eight years. You know, but it was just <clears throat> the way that I was stepping away from the uh, the action and got caught with a shot. You think you're just part of the Tyson curse? Then no matter what he does, it, it ends up strange. I, I don't know. I, I don't want to end like this. You know, I, I mean, I, I don't. I'm not into curses or anything like that. You know, I just I want to I want I want to have a fight where it would be clean. I lost. Uh, you know. If I lost, I lost. You know, I got knocked out, I got knocked out. But not not by getting hit, you know, at the end of the bat. Was the fight going the way you thought it was going? Were you satisfied with the first round? Were you? Were you? Oh, yeah, I, I felt like I was winning the first round, you know. I felt his power, you know, you know, and, um, you know, I knew what I had to do, you know, from that point on. You know, that was just that was just the beginning of my, my whole strategy, you know, to box him, you know, and uh, <clears throat> feel his power, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I, had, I had got past that round, you know. 
All right. So the main the main thing for you then is to rest, and rehabilitate your knees, see what's necessary for it, and then make future plans to see if you come back with Tyson again or if they bypass you and keep on going. Right. That's that's, that's my plan to see what happens. You know. All right. Uh, Abel, one. Uh, we are going to go back to Steve and Bobby at ringside, but your last thing, are you very disappointed? Extremely disappointed.